Weather doesn't appear to be a factor in that crash in other areas across the country, though. Snow, ice, flooding, rains made for a very difficult holiday weekend. Al, are they over those storms? Not even close. We've got at least, as we look at the maps, 12 million people under some sort of winter weather advisory or winter storm warning stretching from Oklahoma all the way into Wisconsin. We're going to be watching this. The areas in blue, that's where we have winter storm warnings from Sioux Falls, Des Moines. We expect Minneapolis to get into that later today. So starting with today, snow freezing rain for the plains and upper Midwest. We could see snowfall rates of up to one inch per hour. Then as we get into tonight, Minneapolis, you get involved. Chicago, ahead of the system, you're going to see heavy rain and winds. So airport delay is going to be a problem. Tuesday, more snow accumulations for the upper Midwest, and this thing heads toward the Great Lakes. Here's what we're looking at as far as accumulations. Upwards of 8 to 10 inches, but you can see over the next 48 hours, Minneapolis, you could be close to a foot. We're also looking at heavier snowfall amounts as you get into the UP of Michigan as well. Okay, let's get right to our top story. It is the holiday season now, the brutal storm lashing the middle of the country, parts of the south with snow, ice, and heavy rain. The Weather Channel's Mike Seidel is in Oklahoma City as people travel across the country today. Mike, good morning. Good morning, Willie. Over 13 million in the path of the wintry side of the storm, including here in Oklahoma City, where we've got a driving rain, winds gusting over 25 miles an hour. The temperature has dropped down to 34 degrees. Meanwhile, this morning, freezing rain has turned highways into skating rinks from Nebraska into New Mexico. This morning, a huge storm system is bringing a cold winter blast to a big part of the country like a belt wrapped around the Midwest, from the Great Lakes all the way down to the Southern Plains. If you're anywhere in its path, there's likely to be some kind of nasty weather in your forecast. In Oklahoma, as the front blew through, temperatures plummeted from a balmy 64 degrees down to a chilly 49 in just one hour. And ice storm warnings in red, travelers advisories in orange, flash flood watch continues south central, central into eastern Oklahoma. Sure. In Kansas City, they're dreaming of a white Christmas, but rain nearly drowned out a holiday plaza lighting ceremony. Look at the crowd, the rain is coming down. More rain than Kansas City has seen on Thanksgiving Day on record. Everybody's dealing with the rain right now, everybody at this point. Holiday travel, never easy. Holiday travel is nerve wracking and they make it a little more nerve wracking with the, with the young kids. Will be challenging for post Thanksgiving travelers in parts of Texas, Oklahoma and Arkansas. If you're going by car or plane, get ready for delays. But at least skiers had something to be thankful for. Up to 20 inches of new snow in California, nearly a foot in Oregon, and up to 10 inches in parts of Colorado. Snow coming down, ice on the limbs. Happy Thanksgiving. Dallas-Fort Worth was drenched with rain on Thanksgiving. Overnight flash flooding swept away a Tarrant County deputy who was trying to rescue a stranded driver. He himself was rescued later on and is now in the hospital. In Dallas, so far over four inches of rain, that makes it their wettest year on record, nearly 55 inches and counting. Willie? Mike Seidel in the middle of some ugly weather there in Oklahoma City. Mike, thanks. Dylan is in for Al today, so what can we expect, Dylan? You know, today, tomorrow, Sunday, big travel weekend. We are looking at a lot of troubles, especially where the ice is falling right now. We already have reports of up to a half an inch of ice near Amarillo, Texas. This is your 32-degree line, so north of it, it's snow. South of it, it's rain, but right along it is where we have our freezing rain that's accumulating and making conditions very dangerous on the roads. We have ice storm warnings, including parts of Texas into Oklahoma and up into uh, parts of Kansas, too. That's where we're going to see our biggest concerns for travelers on the roads. And here you see along 40 and 25, we're looking at snow eventually turning over to those icy conditions. And especially the bridges and the overpasses, they freeze first. So just really slow down as you go over those overpasses because it freezes on the top and the bottom underneath as well. Now, if you're heading through Chicago or Detroit or St. Louis today, look for rain showers that could cause some delays and also where the ice is a little farther to the west. Again, slippery conditions still an issue. On Saturday, it's not just the rain, but it's also also some fog. Again, that causes delays at the airports. Major hubs like New York City, Cincinnati could see some of those uh, rain showers and foggy conditions causing some delays. Then you go back still through Texas and Oklahoma. That's where we're looking for ice to still be an issue. Now on Sunday, the ice and the snow 
fizzle out a little bit. And it looks like we'll see mainly just some rain with reduced visibility again because of the rain and the fog. And this rain is going to stretch all the way through parts of Kentucky into West Virginia, stretching over into Virginia, too, where soggy travel is going to be the biggest thing on the roads. And that could slow down travel. So it's not really the best weekend for traveling, Willie. All right, Dylan. Thank you very much.